What's up ladies and gents, and today I'll tell you how to find and where to get all labs keycards. Let's start with the yellow keycard. The first spawn is right there on the table on labs. Second spawn of the yellow is upstairs inside the manager's office right next to the laptop. Last but not least, there is another spawn of a yellow keycard right on top of the table, if you can call it a table, uh, next to the cafeteria. The yellow room itself is right over here and after you open it you can go inside and you can find a couple of fancy things. There is a filing cabinet, there is a steam on the ground and you can find lots of valuable loot on the chairs as well as you can deactivate the alarm for Y11 sector. Yellow keycard. A few webs ago, yellows were available pff, for like 50k. I remember once for the memes about every single yellow keycard on the flea market. I think about like 50 of them and just deleted them for the memes. Right now, it became rare and it's pretty difficult to get. I got my one of Sturm on the swipe. And my advice for the yellow keycards, as well as keep monitoring the flea market. I think they're worth around 2 million rubles. You can also create your own offers, for example, let's say five six seven eight whatever gpus for the yellow and it's very likely to sell so keep monitoring flea and feel free to do your own offers which are roughly equal to two million rubles a quick reminder that all keycards can spawn on different bosses so when you do kill the bosses make sure you check their backpacks and pockets as there is a small chance for every single keycard green keycard spawns right here on the table And the second spawn is right inside the red room, in between the folders. Green room itself is on the other side of the map, and if you manage to get inside, you can get lots of mats. There's a couple of uh, jewelry spawns. Sadly, I don't have a green room, so I can't show you. Uh, but yeah, the room is generally pretty good, and the keycard is very rare. Sometimes green keycard is so rare that you can't find it on the flea, and... Uh, Advises keep monitoring flea, keep seeing if there is any available offers, and best of luck. Let's talk about black keycard spawns. One of them spawns right here on the table. The second one is not too far away, it's on the other table. It spawns right next to the, to the monitor. And for the third one, you will need green keycard, as the black keycard spawns inside the green room, right next to the another PC, right next to the monitor. This is the black room itself. Typically you find meds in there and nothing else. There's a quite high spawn chance for ledex and thermoscopes, which is really good. I found around 5, maybe 10 ledexes this way from the black room and yeah, it's pretty decent. Black keycard. Right now it's available on the flea for the trade only. People ask green, yellow and violet, which is a pretty bad offer. To be honest, you can get black from mechanic. Um, typically, those keycards are out of stock nearly instantly, so make sure you get the needed items uh, before you actually um, get ready for buying it. And whenever mechanic resets, so he resets in 2 hours, 41 minutes, make sure that you do have all of the needed items and look for the keycard on the flea market. You can click filter by item and to quickly refresh the market, you just do double tap. Tap tap and it refreshes it. Just make sure you get rid of the filter and you can spam it really quick. Eventually you're gonna get capture. So don't do it way too fast and yeah this way you will be able to buy the keycard before anybody else. Just make sure you start refreshing minute, minute and a half in advance. Blue keycard. One of them spawns right inside the mad car right here. Second and third spawns are located in the west wing, and you will need the keys for those ones. West 112, the keycard spawns right next to the table. Next spawn is west 104, and the keycard spawns right on the table next to the documents.
This is the location of the blue keycard room on labs and you can use a little window to check an ad inside if you want. I don't have a keycard but there isn't much to do inside, there is barely any loot and a low spawn chance of a lattice. Blue keycard. It's very difficult to get, there are no good trades on the flea market and the room is mostly empty when you open it. My advice is don't buy this keycard, it's a waste of money, you're not gonna get the money back. Uh, but if you really want to get it, run Shoreline, keep monitoring the flea. Uh, nothing else I can say, to be honest. Red key card, The beloved red key card. The first one we're going to talk about is in the gym. It spawns right here in the locker. For the second spawn, we need to go upstairs. It's accessible via 205 and maybe 203 uh, west keys. and it spawns right here. Next spawn is in 218 West and make sure you don't forget the key because you do need the key for this room. Now it's done. Now it's time to go to the admin building and the keycard spawns right on the table, right under the six thingy, whatever you call it. And you do not need any keys for this room. Last but not least, there is a spawn in the other wing, the key is located in 218 East, you don't need any keys for that room, and people say that key card spawns on the table and on the barrel, I'm not sure about that, so check both. That's the location of the red room on labs, typically it's really good for fighting when you're defending, when you're defending this uh, overall red room area or violet. The loot inside red is not the best this swipe, you can find GPUs and Ladexes, but overall it has not been the best. Red keycard. Red keycard is nearly impossible to get nowadays, people ask for green, yellow, or... Actually, this is not too bad. 9 Ladexes, 9 defibrillators and one laps key card, sorry, one laps armor, and that's not too bad. The only problem is found in raid defibs. I don't think too many people collect it, but here we go. This is, this is actually a doable trade. This is definitely doable. Another thing which I can advise you to do, if you collect uh, found in raid GPUs or Ladexes, you can create your own offer on the flea market. I would say red key card is worth something between 20 and uh, 45 million rubles, and you can do the calculation yourself and create an offer yourself. It's not very likely that you're gonna get it, but it might be worth a try if the commission is not too high. Other than that, it's very difficult to get red and I can't give you an advice. Well, keep monitoring flea markets. Sometimes people sell them for 20 million and 40 million rubles-ish. And somebody from my chat yesterday managed to buy a red key card for I think 44 million rubles on the flea market. So another advice, keep monitoring. Let's talk about violet. It's very convenient because all of the violet spawns are really close to each other. First one is right in this shack on the table. For the second one, we need to cross the sawmill, and the keycard is located right at the back uh, of the car on the right side. Third one is also located in the car, except it's in the car on the driver's seat. Violet room is located right in front of the red one, and I actually had a lot of luck with Violet this wipe. I found lots of VPXs, uh, keychains, rollers, GPUs, and a couple of Ladexes this swipe. So far, Vali been treating me really well. Alright, so if we talk about the Violet keycard on the flea market, right now it's available only for different barter offers, black, um, green, etc. Typically, if you keep scanning flea for Violet, you can buy it for something around 4.5, uh, 4 million rubles, and I think that's a fair price. Also, you can craft Violet in your hideout, but I think it's very, very expensive since it requires three yellow key cards, I believe. Let's quickly double check. If we go to Intelligence Center, you can craft Violet for, yeah, three yellow key cards. That's insanely expensive and this is definitely not worth it. So best advice is uh, either keep checking woods or monitor flea market for Violets in cash. People do sell them occasionally. 
And this is it for this video, more or less. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to use this video as a guide to where key cards spawn. And I hope you will get your key cards eventually. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.